There are those that have gone before us, church, that the field has literally cost them everything. They have, they have paid the ultimate price. And we still see that today. We, we still see people being martyred for their, their faith. I hope I don't have to pay that price. I hope you don't have to pay that price. But we need to know there's always a cost to the field. And I know that doesn't sound good. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't sound like some, you know, good marketing brochure for Christianity. Um, but Jesus expects every follower of his to die to die to themselves, you know, die to our agendas and die to our control. And, and the field will, will require repentance, dying to your sins and your strongholds. And the field may cost you dying to your bitterness and your right to hold a grudge against somebody that, that hurts you. The field may cost you giving up your idol or your idols, giving up that addiction. Because, see, we can, we can be like the rich young ruler, and we can hold on to all that old stuff. Or we can be like this man in the parable and let it go and trade up, you know, trade what we have for what God has. My junk for his treasure, his peace, his love, his joy, his hope. That's a good trade, church. That's a great trade. 